Well, on the surface, one of Doc's uh, main contributions is his uh, groundbreaking guitar work. He took a flat pick and did things, uh, did, did things with a flat pick and played music with a flat pick that nobody had done before him. And he has influenced now two or three generations of guitarists. Um, so he sort of set the, the standard for um, playing virtuoso uh, acoustic guitar in a way. But an even greater contribution is, is the fact that he's always embodied the music of Western North Carolina. He's never left that place. He absorbed the old music and through his um, genius, he was, he's been able to keep it vital and alive and introduce so many people to uh, these, these traditions that if he hadn't been around to do this, would be, in some cases, it would be archival material. <laughs> Basically, he's kept the tradition uh, alive. And all this Americana music that you hear, a lot of it, I mean, a lot, I think much of it can be traced to his influence, both as, a mus as, a, as an instrumentalist, but a, as a singer, and uh, his ability to combine very um, traditional styles and repertory with a, uh, a modern sensibility and, a, and his own uh, ability to, 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 to synthesize the old with his own um, creative impulses. And that's what a lot of Americana music's about. And I think if you follow that thread back, a lot of, a lot of times it's going to lead um, to Doc Watson. Thank you.